The markup screen provides settings to enter and maintain markups to sublet, which is outside labor, and the OEM parts and labor items found in the estimator. This screen can display values as either markup or profit. By entering figures in the fields below, it is possible to automatically mark up these items when applied to your orders. When cost for a sublet item is entered in the order item entry sublet window, the sell price would be the same as the cost unless a markup value is entered here. In this example, a 25% markup on a sublet where the shop was billed $100 for a service would appear on the resulting invoice as $125. OEM estimator parts can transfer either at face value or marked up based on settings created here. For parts, this markup increases the list price. For example, a $100 part with a 10% markup applied will transfer to an order with a $110 list price. It remains necessary to contact the dealer to confirm your actual part costs. Note, if using an OEM parts catalog such as RepairLinkShop.com, those costs will instead be marked up by the matrix, just like aftermarket parts catalogs integrated with this program. A 10% markup applied to estimator labor will result in one hour being transferred to the order or revision screen as 1.1 hours. The labor guide setting will also mark up any maintenance scheduled services labor that is transferred. The Sale Only, Sale and Tech Pay option determines if any labor markup applied is reflected on customer invoices only or if it is also applied to the tech commission hours as well. The purpose for the shop and miscellaneous overhead fields is to factor the additional expenses beyond actual material and labor costs. By including all of your business overhead, the true cost of keeping the doors open can be factored across the invoices created. The F12 check profit function becomes more reflective of the actual cost of doing business. The numbers that are entered here do not impact invoices, just the F12 pie chart figures. Check out your Get Set SE workbook for some additional thoughts about markup and a discussion of markup versus gross profit.